In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create coloring books that actually sell over on Amazon using AI. So this is a bit of a beginner's guide to AI coloring books. And the reason that I'm doing this is if we go over to Amazon, we can see there are thousands of coloring books that are actually selling, and a ton of these have used AI. So just looking here, coloring books for adults, relaxation, here are some sponsored products at the top, but if we scroll down, some of the books that sell really well at the moment are these bold and easy coloring books. Two brands that do this very well are Coco Wyo and Jade Summer. These tend to use illustrators, but if we look at some different books, you can see that there are books out there that are performing really well using AI generated coloring pages. So here's one that's ranking on the first page for coloring books for adults, relaxation. And if we scroll down to the bestseller rank, it's currently around 27K in all books on Amazon. That means that out of all of the millions of books over on Amazon, it's the 27,000th bestseller. That might not sound that great, but trust me, out of all those millions of books there, this means that this book is selling pretty well. So it's gonna be getting sales every single day. And if we scroll up, you look at the current book, you know it's got a nice title here at the top, and it's showcasing a nice, fun summer coloring book. But when you look inside and look at the example pages, you know this looks really nice and you scroll down to an example of the coloring pages and yes, this could have been hand illustrated, but there are some telltale signs that it's probably made using AI. And that's just a few little things like little squiggles here, some little round bits that don't really make sense at the bottom, but it's been done very well and it's been cleaned up really nicely. So for the average consumer who's buying a book like this, they wouldn't realize that it's been generated or at least assisted by using AI. So I think that one was made using AI, but I'm gonna show you another example of a slightly different style, which I'm definitely sure was using AI. So here's a cozy dog coloring book for adults. And so it's made really nicely. And here you've got some lovely sketches of dogs. So I know that this is definitely made using AI because I've generated pages like this as well. So you've got different dogs in different settings, but this was 100% made probably using Midjourney. Midjourney tends to do these sketchy, quite AI coloring pages that a lot of consumers will realize is AI. And there are a load of AI generated coloring books that are actually selling over on Amazon. And if we come on over to my Amazon KDP reports dashboard, you can see that I've made almost $90,000 over the past few years by selling coloring books, activity books, and also some fiction books. So as you can see here so far, I've made 154 books. That includes a lot of things like journals, notebooks. It also includes hardcover versions and also some of my fiction writing as well. So I'd say out of those 154, I've probably made about 90 books in total and a vast majority of those will be coloring books. And there is a bit of a backlash, especially on Amazon and also here on YouTube, about people who are using AI to make coloring books and selling them on Amazon. But if you're doing it effectively, if you're using the right tools, if you're cleaning them up and making sure that they're very, very high quality, there's every chance you can create a coloring book that's gonna sell really well over on Amazon. If you want a little bit of proof, this is one of my best selling AI generated coloring books. You can see since I launched it in 2023, I've made over $13,500 in royalties. I've probably spent maybe about a grand in advertising. So this book alone has made me around $12,000. Now, just before we get going, I do wanna say that it's super important that if you're using AI to make coloring books, they need to be very, very high quality. Let me show you an example of what you don't want to be doing. So here's an example of one of my first AI generated coloring books that I sold over on Amazon. And just remember that this was published back in 2022. So it's when text to image AI generation had just kind of first came out and I was testing the waters and AI wasn't anywhere near as good as it is now. And it hadn't started kind of flooding the Amazon marketplace. So I will caveat that. And that means it's not a very good book. So if we have a look in here, it's kind of a fun design, but you can see that it's not really optimized for coloring. You've got different shadings, you've got different line thicknesses. You've got so much black in there, so it doesn't really work. And that's what I mean by poor AI generating coloring pages. You want consistency, you want clean lines, you don't want all this additional shading and maybe nonsensical items. 
And the reason for that, as well as trying to provide a good customer experience, is that when you come down to the reviews, people will say it's an AI coloring book. And people who color in coloring books over on Amazon, they want hand illustrated or at least high quality coloring pages to color. And so I'm gonna just walk you through how I would make coloring pages that you could sell over on Amazon, even if you're a complete beginner. So to do that, you want to use your text image AI tool of choice. There's Midjourney, ChatGPT, and for this, I'm gonna show you Design AI. So the reason that I'm gonna recommend Design AI for this is because it's got a ton of inbuilt presets that allow you to get the style that you're looking for without having to mess around with loads of different prompts. And it also will provide that consistency, that same style throughout your coloring book. You can get a free trial by clicking the link in the description below. And then in terms of the pricing, you can have a $9 a month package, or what I'd recommend is having a $20 a month package, which gives you access to a lot more things. It gives you unlimited image credits, and it also gives you video credits as well. So this does video AI as well as just image AI. So to get going, you click on a project, and you create a new project or open an existing project. So there's this text to image box here on the side, and what you wanna do is click on this button here, and these are all of your different styles. So as you can see here, you've got loads of different image prompt styles that you can choose. Anything from, you know, sort of Disney Pixar-ish 3D animation to realistic. You can use the inbuilt Flux and ChatGPT generators as well. You can do things like pixel art, 3D rendering, fisheye lens, but the thing that we want to look at here is this line art tab. So these are all of your different preset coloring pages that are inbuilt to design. So you've got cool things like line art whimsy, you've got chalk drawing, crosshatch, simple things, sketches, cute drawings, whimsical coloring for something a little bit more detailed. But yeah, you've got loads of different options. So let's start with design line art. And then all you want to be doing is entering a prompt here for what your coloring page looks like. So all I've done is T-Rex roaring in front of a volcano, a few trees and birds in the background, white background, clean lines. So you can choose the aspect ratio. I'm doing it as a one by one canvas at the moment. And then you click generate. So these generations, especially if you've got the HQ generation mode ticked, can take up to about a minute. Generally, they seem to take anywhere between five seconds to a minute. So just give it a little bit of time and then design is gonna generate these images for you. So here we go, here's a couple of image ideas using that line art style. So the reason I like this style is it's quite clean, it's quite minimal, and it's quite consistent with the thickness and cleanliness of the lines. So here's one example, and what we might need to do here is just clean up the eye a little bit to make sure that it actually looks like a dinosaur, not some <laughs> crazed dinosaur here. And then here's the other example as well. So you've got two nice examples here. So one thing you can do is double click it to place it on the canvas. And then you can use this AI eraser tool and just replace the eye. And that's gonna give you some options to replace that eye that doesn't quite look right. So this saves you having to take it into Photoshop or something like that and fixing it yourself. So here we go, here's a few options. Let's put that one in. So that only took a few seconds and that is that eye fixed. Let's say there's something else we didn't quite like as well. Maybe we want this to link up up here. We're gonna click generate on that and see if design can fix that for us as well. So there we go. Just by using that AI eraser tool, I've been able to clean it up without having to take it into Photoshop. So here is our dinosaur coloring page, which has been made using AI. And as I mentioned before, there's a ton of different styles that you could play around with. This is a more line arty style. And my advice would be if you're making a coloring book and let's say you want 40 or 50 designs in there, that seems to be the standard now over on Amazon, you'd want to have them all in the same style, unless there's like a creative reason for not doing that. So let's say we were doing a dinosaur coloring book you'd want to do all your different dinosaurs, all your different settings using this same style. And then because it's the same style, the same quality, that would hopefully provide a good customer experience. So let's say you're happy with this page. All you do is click save as image and you can either download it as a JPEG, PNG or SVG. So SVG allows you to scale it to as big as you want, 
which is a fantastic option here. So that vectorizes it and it will allow you to stretch it to as big as you want. But for me, I think a PNG will do just fine and I'm gonna do two times the size because then that's gonna be better quality for printing. So I'm gonna click upscale and download. So all you need to do is do this 40 or 50 times, different dinosaurs, different settings, retouch them a little bit, and then put them all into a manuscript. You then need to make your front cover and then you can upload it over on Amazon. And so here's another one done in the same style, but of a different dinosaur. This time a dinosaur eating leaves. Yeah, this one's probably not quite right, but it gives you an idea and it lets you see that the style remains consistent. So sometimes it takes a few prompts. You might need to use the AI eraser to fix little bits. Like you might want to fix the arms here because they're not absolutely perfect. But it shows you that the style remains the same, which is absolutely key with coloring books. And speaking of styles, let's look at some of the different styles now. So here's an example of the tarot line art style, which makes a really interesting, very different type of coloring page. So it includes a lot of lines and a lot of detail, which you know could be quite fun to create something a little bit different. These are a more detailed, bold and easy style coloring page. So again, it's not perfect. You'd need to retouch some of these elements, but in terms of the style, you know, it's not bad. This is that kind of more bold and easy style that you'd see over on Amazon. And then you've got sketches as well. So whilst this has kind of humanized this T-Rex a little bit, you know, quite a cool, interesting artistic style, but the sketching side of it looks really beautiful. So if you want to do something a bit more sketchy, that's a good one for you. This is the really simple one, which would be great for kids coloring pages. Here's another one. A few more sketches. This was a linescape drawing. So what it's done here is it's kind of gone with the single line around it, which is quite a nice artistic style. And let's try another one. Let's do the cross hatch, see what that comes out like. And here we go. So these wouldn't be suitable for coloring pages, but they are absolutely beautiful. So look at this design in this sort of style. So you've got two right here that look really, really nice. So whilst this wouldn't be right for a coloring page, maybe it's right for a design, a t-shirt design, something kind of like that. So that's the cross hatch style. You've got all these different presets here that you could create as well. And let's say you wanted to make a front cover out of this. Let's select this comic noir option and we can enter the same prompt that we've been doing for our coloring pages and see what it comes up with for a potential front cover. So here we go. This is just the first one that I've done here, but you can see it's really nice. Maybe it's not quite right for what we're looking for. Maybe we'd want to prompt different colors. We can prompt, you know, the size and the space and different colors and all those kind of things. But yeah, just as a random prompt in this style, it looks really cool. So not only can it make coloring pages for you, AI can also make different covers for you that can help you make additional supporting imagery for social media and those kind of things. And yeah, if you're not utilizing AI in 2025, whether that's actually making the coloring pages or help with making front covers, social media imagery, those kind of things, I think you're gonna get left behind. So hopefully this guide was useful and it shows you one way in which I make my AI coloring books. If you want to help with uploading your book and doing all the SEO and keywords and tags and all those kind of things, you can check out some of my other videos on the channel. If you've got any questions about utilizing AI, drop them down in the comments below. Else, I'll see you in the next video.